Today's adventure brings us to the Champney Brook Trail. We'll be following this trail going up to Mount Chakora and Middle Sister. Number 86 and 87 on the ever-changing, never-ending fire tower list of the 93 towers that are standing, once stood, or were proposed. We'll also be going by Champney Falls. I don't know if they'll look spectacular today or not. Depends on the water level. But the falls and the trail are named for Benjamin Champney, a noted White Mountains artist. Well, judging from the brook crossing here, I don't think the falls will be too spectacular. Honey, the bridge is out. <laughs> so our path is going to go around this island of roots. That is cool. <laughs> In case you ever wondered how many roots it takes to grow a tree that oh. size. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've come to the trail junction with the Champney Falls Pitcher Falls Loop Trail to be headed off to the left. As I pan back out, check out those stairs. Those are beautiful. Thank you, trail maintenance. That is one heck of a nice job. We'll be coming down those. We are going to go and check out the spectacular falls <laughs> first. So we'll be headed down this way. Alright, we're kind of hoping this isn't the falls. We weren't really expecting it to be spectacular, but, I mean, come on, seriously? <laughs> As I continue along this raging brook, smaller pool here, and look, another cascade. Stunning. And look, a cave, and somebody's home. Ah, oh, there's just my lovely wife in there filming with the new camera. So we believe that this is actually part of the falls that should have been spectacular. And quite frankly, it looks like it's been eager to be meager. So well, it is fall, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, and the wall continues. Maybe we'll be back to see this. All right, so a little waterfall right there. But as I pan out, this area is incredible. Look at this. I know the camera won't pick it up well, but this place is great. Now this is spectacular, even without the water falling. As I walk up a little bit and start to pan to my left. A little cave. Of course it doesn't go anywhere. And someone had a fire here. And there goes my bride trying to be queen of Champney Falls. No, good one. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so cool up here. All right, Max, I'll let you be quiet. Okay. Echo! Yeah. It's a waterfall. I'm sure it looks much different in spring, but is pretty but this is just so, so unique you can see the size of the place just by looking at Chuck down there very cool cool find and this would be part of the 70 foot Champney Falls we're sure as we said it's pretty meager today but the other stuff that we're finding is uh, spectacular down to a little pool more stairs right along this must have been time for the sermon to cut. All right, we found the earth throws. Even though it's camouflaged, <laughs> it's the geocache. So we're gonna do what we do and then get back to the video. All right, so we finished the loop trail. We saw uh, Champney and Pitcher Falls, not sure which is which. We will be continuing up this way. And I gotta tell you, even though the falls, it would be a stretch to say that they were meager, uh, the views down there were well worth it. So not only both of these mountains on 52 with a view, but so far, Chakor has an added bonus. I can see why this place gets so crowded, which is why we're here on a Wednesday. <laughs> In an area with a lot of ledge. All right, it's all right. I would imagine if it was wet out here, this hike would be completely different. But it's all dry, so it's going good. We came to the sign that says view. So we're going to the view. So we are at the viewing area. 
And here's the views we're getting. Hazy views. Hazy views as usual. But that's okay. It's a nice day. Nice and cool. So now we've come to the junction with the Piper Trail. We will be following it to Mount Chikora, just point six. Heading out this way. We're at the Piper Trail sign where it says to stand in order to find Grandpa, Grandpa Jim's. Jim's geocache and Cheryl found it. So we'll do what we do and be right back. And the Piper Trail is named after John Piper, the first gentleman to blaze it. It goes this way. Number 86 on the fire tower list. Someone at Chikora. Let's go knock it out. So we came to another trail junction. The Liberty Trail will take off down there. I gotta tell you, the views are spectacular coming up here. <laughs> There's that word again that the falls weren't. <laughs> the climb was fun. Uh, this climb is unreal. Over all these rocks and ledge and stuff. And we still got a ways to go too. All right, let's get to the summit. Welcome to the summit of Mount Chikora, who gets its name from the Socosis, if I'm saying it correctly, Indian chief named Chikora, back in the 1700s. There's a lot of stories on how he met his tragic death on the mountain. Some have him fallen off a rock, some have him being shot. But uh, there's another story where he was shot and he placed a curse before jumping off the rock to his death. Just more of the folklore that's up here in the White Mountains. Now, as far as the fire tower goes, it was in use up here from 1911 to 1927, but it wasn't really a tower. I'm gonna tear this up. But, <laughs> there was a table on a post where the fire warden would place his map and his alliday. If I'm saying it correctly, if not, I apologize. But in 1926, it was transferred over to the Forestry Service. And at that time, there was a lot of opposition about building a tower up there. So, what they decided to do was move the tower over to Middle Sister in 1927. That will be our next destination. Geological survey from Mount Chikora. Some of the tie-downs for the pole and the table. And we're sharing the summit with who? My name's Christian. James. Nice to meet you guys. Nice, nice to meet you too. Classes today. No classes today. Yeah, you're not just skipping school, right? You already have no classes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, summit pose. Number 86 for us on the New Hampshire Fire Tower list. Our next destination, Middle Sister. We believe we can see the artifacts from here. Right. Oh no. That's not. You know what that is? What? Solar panel rings. Really? It looks like a solar panel from here. Oh, I had no clue that they had anything like that over there. Let's oh. go check it out. I can see the artifacts too, though. Oh, okay. The, the old stairs. Alright, so we're at the trail junction with the middle sister trail, and we will be following it out. This way. All right, so we're working our way down into the saddle between first and middle sister. And then we've got to climb, zooming in, to the summit of middle sister. What's this? Not really sure what it is. It's not a hold down or anything. Um, I was actually expecting to find something like this on Mount Chikora, where they would mount the table to. But it is out here. All right, welcome to the summit of Middle Sister. Number 87 for us on a New Hampshire fire tower list. You are looking at the remains of the fire tower that was here. It was in operation from 1927 to 1948. As we showed you over on Mount Chikora, this replaced the station that was over there. It was only described as a 10 foot high masonry cab. It was built in 1921 and it was later used to house a radio repeater equipment. And now, it has a sign on it that says, Enjoy, but do not destroy your American heritage. Ancient ruin. Let's take a walk up the stairs to the old fire tower. Oh, I can already tell. I don't want to step in there. Because <laughs> that would be a drop. You can see along the edge here. 
the old wood. That's where the floor used to be. I'd imagine underneath it must have been storage because, well, down there you wouldn't see a fire, that's for sure. Because our view is right here. I'm on the edge of that hole, so I'm being very, very careful. Sorry if it gets jittery. <laughs> we decided not to go out to the third system. Ah, uh, yeah, and there's this thing too. I'll try to figure out what that is in a minute. Zoom out a little. Right over to Mount Chikora. Our first destination in this video. The artifact looks great, especially with my lovely wife on it. But as I pan to the right, yeah, this kind of takes away from the whole thing up here. I know they're needed. Not sure what it is. Some kind of a radio thing. Maybe it's a radio repeater signal thing. I'm not really sure. But that's sharing the summit up here too. Shadow Summit pose on middle sister. Here we are. <laughs> hey Joey, is this your little buddy? <laughs> so we've completed our journey and we are going to take the Champney Falls cutoff going that way. So we're just walking along here when suddenly it opens right up. You want to stay on this path right here. Unless you want to take the extreme cutoff trail, which would go down real fast. But while we're here, give you another idea of the views that we're seeing. Oh, it was so worth taking the day off today. Two more done. And this was like four birds with two stones. Two fire tower sites and 252 with a view sites. Okay. All right, we're back down to the trailhead. We did 10.1 miles today. It was a good day. We took out two mountains that counted for two fire towers that counted for 252s with a view. We found two geocaches <laughs> and we did all of that today. So until our next adventure, the end. <laughs>